Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass monthly quest guide. So, one of the new quests for the month of January, we're going to be working on Stardew Valley. This game is available on the cloud. The quest expires on January 31st, it's worth 75 rewards points, and we need to catch one fish within the game. So we'll go ahead and launch that game up and get it started. And we'll have to do just a little bit of configuration on our new game before we can actually go out and catch that fish. So let's press A to get started one more time. And then you can press B to cancel. Move over to the left to select a new game and press A. And you can choose whatever you'd like here. I clicked the randomizer at the upper left corner a couple times. The three things you do need to fill out are the name at the top center, and you can enter whatever you like there. You'll need to enter the farm name, and again, just whatever you'd like. And then your favorite thing, you can enter any characters in that as well. You can choose to skip the intro if you want to, just check that box. And then on the right side of the screen, I chose the Riverland Farm as the type of farm that I wanted to use. And then you can click OK after that, and it'll get started in the Riverland Farm area. Now we need to progress time a little bit. So as soon as you get started, go back to your bed and choose Yes to sleep for the night. We start out on Monday, and we need to skip forward in time to Wednesday. So you'll want to do this twice. Go back to your bed, go to sleep for the night. And when it says at the upper right corner that it's on Wednesday the 3rd, then you can go ahead and leave the building. You don't actually have to even open that package of seeds, but I went ahead and did that. But move down to the bottom of the screen so that you can exit your house. Go out to the mailbox and collect the letter from Willie that is out there. He says that he's back from his fishing trip and he's got something for us. So he's got a fishing pole. So the reason that we skipped forward a couple of days is Willie was not back from his fishing trip yet. So now that he is, we can go collect the fishing pole from him. So just follow this path over to the right and then go down along this path and just keep heading south until you get to the river and then we're going to head to the east and go over to this bridge and we're going to head south down here and this will take us down to the pier where Willie is. And this is a cutscene right here so we're just waiting for this to play out. But basically, Willie's back, and he's bought a new fishing pole for himself. So he's going to give us his old bamboo pole, and we'll be able to use that for what we need to do. So you can just go ahead and page through that dialogue. And he tells us that he can buy fish from us, but we won't need to actually do that. All we need to do is do some fishing and collect one fish for ourself. So just a little bit more dialogue to get through, and then this kind of pans over to the right, and that is the end of the cutscene. And then when we gain control of our character, we'll be able to start using that fishing rod. So once you're here, you can move over to what looks like a good spot on the dock to you. You can hit the right trigger a few times to select the pole and then press X to cast your line out. After a minute, you will get a hit and you'll press X and then you'll need to start tapping the X button. What you want to do on this little meter that you see on screen is try to get that green rectangle so that it stays behind the little fish icon. And the more you do that, the more the bar on the right side will fill up. You need it to fill all the way up. And I was not doing a great job here, but I think they're very forgiving on this first fish. But like I said, what you're trying to do is get that green rectangle. Just keep tapping the X button and try to get that green rectangle so that it stays behind the fish icon. And after you've done that for a few seconds, then you pretty much should catch the fish. It'll automatically get reeled in. And just to show you again what it looks like, I really think they made it super easy on that first time around, but here's another look at it. So you just press X to cast, wait for a hit. You should feel a little vibration on your controller whenever you get a hit. And you can press X to basically lock it in, and then that little mini game will appear on screen where you're tapping X and trying to keep that green rectangle behind the fish. 
So if you're able to do that long enough and well enough, then you'll reel the fish in and that will be pretty much it. You'll have your one fish that you needed and the quest should unlock for you at that point. So there we go, we can go ahead and hold down the Xbox button to turn that in and grab those 75 rewards points for the Stardew Valley quest. So we'll have guides coming out a little bit later on for all of the other weekly and monthly quests for Descenders and The Long Dark and New Super Lucky's Tale and all of those. So stay tuned to the channel for those guides. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button here on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find some helpful links in the description of this video if you want to stay connected with us. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.